2011, of all the years I'm making wine, is probably one of the coolest years I've seen. But it couldn't be a better situation for the Chardonnay because cool climate, Russian River Valley, add that to a vintage like 2011, it's even cooler. What that means is really bright, really elegant fruit, but beautiful acidity to back up the fruit. That's the 2011 Jordan Chardonnay. The style that we're producing is still very much inspired by our Burgundy friends in France because that particular style of wine is what really appeals to me. It's the ones that I think go best with food. Nice fresh fruit comes through in the nose. You don't get a lot of buttery components that are gonna overwhelm that fruit. I love it when Master Sommiers come up to me and say, your wine makes me so upset because when I put it in a blind tasting, I think of it as a Pouligny, not as a California Chardonnay brings tears to my eyes when I hear that because that's exactly what we're trying to do. What do we do to capture that style? How do we maintain that kind of fruit intensity through the vending process of it? Soil is everything to Chardonnay. Climate is very important, but unless you get the correct soil to match that growth cycle for the whole year, you're not gonna get that mineral character, that really intense fruit character the Chardonnay is so well known for. All of our fruit is picked at night, and during that time, you can literally be out there by the hopper and feel the chill, especially around three o'clock when it gets about the lowest temperature, and my hands literally get numb trying to work with the fruit. Uh, but I'm happy with that numbness because what it means is preserving the fruit characteristic, that fruit intensity. That is absolutely essential to our style of wine. What we want you to really appreciate about our wine is the, the freshness, the forward nature of the fruit. Oak is really a counterpart to that, it's just the background to that. Fuji apple of all the apples has a real great intensity to it, and this is what you'll find in our wine. But you'll also find the kind of backgrounds of pear, a little bit of quince, a little bit of kiwi, some of these little maybe tropical notes. What we define as balance is really is that when one, there's not one chair out of order in the, in the dining room, you know, that, that everything is just really from beginning to end is a great experience. The key to the balance is the finish of the wine because that's the memory of the wine. That's what really gets you to come back and say, I gotta have another bottle of Jordan Chardonnay because when you, when you have that final finish to it, it's, it's the lasting memory. And when you, I mean, the bottle might be gone, but you might be waking up the next morning going, God, I still can taste that. I still remember that finish, you know? And it might still be sitting in the back of your throat, but it's really up in your head and you're remembering that. And that's really, I think, what's key to a great, great wine is the memory that you had a great experience with it and you want to repeat that again.